Last October, Toledo's Marina District became the permanent home of the Great Lakes freighter, the SS Schoonmaker, and that was just the beginning of the National Museum of the Great Lakes Relocation Project. We watched the Schoonmaker come down and how they put it in there, and we watched the development of the park here. Almost exactly a year later, here at the edge of the Maumee River, there are now paved paths, benches, and an inviting landscape. The museum is being relocated to the glass city from Vermilion, and it's just weeks away from completion. We're in the process right now of installing the exhibits. We're going to see the majority of them in the next couple of weeks that are going to be coming in, but it will take about six weeks total to be able to get all of the exhibits in, get everything tweaked and ready to go. Carl Ribby has been waiting for the museum to open. Since I realized it was coming here, I've been looking forward to it. He often brings his grandchildren to the area. A lot of history in the Great Lakes, and we always try to teach them something. A big draw is expected to be a 22-ton bronze propeller from the John Sherman. It's going to be mounted on this pillar you see behind me, and it was built right here in Toledo in 1959. Museum staff hopes visitors will appreciate Toledo's significant role in Great Lakes history. Maritime history here in Toledo is so vast, and for us to be able to have a national museum dedicated to the Great Lakes history is outstanding. But you will have to wait just a little longer. Now, even though everything's going to be pretty much completed over the next few weeks, they decided not to open until the spring of 2014 because they say there's no sense opening a maritime museum in the middle of winter. Chris Camp, WN, WO News.